Okay, so I've been doing this with surface mount LEDs and um, I've successfully extracted LEDs and then successfully soldered them onto some of this this board right here. Um, just wanted to show you guys, you know, if you don't have a heat gun, um, this is how another method you could use to get your surface mount components off. Most people just throw these kinds of boards away. Um, I like to keep them just in case because right now I'm looking for a 431 voltage regulator. I haven't found one yet. It's for a battery charger that blew its uh, voltage regulator. And it's a 431 surface mount. I managed to uh, read what it said after bright light magnifying glass and just rubbing the, the charredness off the component. Finally figured out what it was. I could buy one on Amazon, haven't yet, it's about $5, but um, so I've been keeping an eye out for service mount components, so I like to hold on to these, especially for the LEDs, because they are very bright, they're very good, and since they're so small, you can use them for all sorts of projects, but I'm going to show you how I've been extracting these surface mount components, and I'll also show you how I've been soldering them on too. Alright, so first, I'm going to attack this right here. I'm not actually going to use this for anything. What I do is I take a razor blade and I just carefully slice underneath it. Alrighty. Uh, let's see if I can find where that just went. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's another cool thing too, is uh, if you have trouble picking them up, they stick to your fingers uh, quite well. Let's see if I get the camera there. There we are. It's undamaged. Now I'm going to show you how to solder it back on. They're very heat sensitive, so you can't have heat on them for too long. Let's see if I can find my point here on the camera. Alright, so I'm going to put it back exactly where I had it. Now, what you do is you just set it back. You set it right where you want it, very carefully. And they stick to fucking everything. They're even sticking to these tweezers. There may be some grease on the tweezers. So I'm going to use this needle to help me get it there, back where it was. Now, before I continue, I'm going to go ahead and get the solder gun heated up. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work because of the angle I'm having to do this at. Also, you want a soldering iron with a very fine tip on it. A very fine tip. Now, mine, I've actually filed it down several times. I need to get a new tip. As you can see, uh, it's pretty worn out. I've been using the hell out of it. But I've been using it for a whole year. But I need to get a new tip. So, I'm going to take this surface mount. I'm going to slide it right where I want it. Get it right where I want it. I'm gonna be careful not to jolt the board, especially when I make contact with the soldered iron. Hang on, let me get it heated up. It's still not heated up yet. Let's get it going. Any second. Okay, there it goes. Right, now it's heated up. So you're just going to touch the solder very quickly and watch it. And, oh shit. And that's now destroyed. I guess to prevent sticking too, after you lay it down, hold it down with something. Like a needle works really well. Just hit the edges. It's not working very well. I need to be at a different angle. Very messy. Like I said, um, it, it helps to have a fine tip soldering iron, and I really need to uh, get a new head for mine. And as you can see, uh, now that component is uh, soldered back onto the board. And let me show you the LEDs I've been doing.
All right, so here's my baggie of the service mount LEDs. Got them all right there. Let me grab one out of the bag. And these are what I've soldered on to the PCB, the project board P PCB. And find a camera. Yeah, you see I got that soldered on there. Just using some of this uh, Radio Shack PCB. What I do is I stick, I've been using, I need to actually go buy the wire. <laughs> uh, but I've got a, a shit ton of these inner diodes, so I've been using the legs off of those. I need to quit that, otherwise I'm going to end up having to buy more diodes soon. But what I do is I carefully stick the legs up into this side where there's no copper, carefully stick them up to where they're barely protruding, and I bend them back and tape them down. And I put them in my little stand here, and then what I do is first I solder, I put a very small dab of solder onto the copper part of the PCB, and solder the the little steel legs, or whatever they're made of, the little legs onto there. And then once I get the legs soldered onto there, I keep the PCB in the stand, and I carefully, like I just showed you with putting this on here, carefully lay the LED on top of the two solder joints. Then you take your solder iron, and you just Carefully touch one side without shaking the board. And you'll see the solder start to melt. And as soon as it melts, quickly take the heat off. Maybe even blow on it. I usually blow on it to help it cool quicker. And you go to the other side. Touch that little solder dab. And the LED will stick to that too. And you, as soon as you see that solder heat up and melt, quickly take the heat off and cool it down. And, um... I actually just set, set this in with my battery pack. I'll show you them working, but they're they're extremely bright, and uh, it's really great because you know I never thought before I could ever have any kind of use except maybe repairs. You know, because you know desoldering these things is very difficult when you don't have the proper tools. But I had a very sharp fresh razor blade. This one's not so sharp anymore because I've made a few of these. Oh, also um. I just use a pair of scissors to slowly cut the PCB, and that's how I get these uh, small little boards for the LEDs. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Just carefully slice them off with the razor blade, and then you don't have to worry about damaging them. Especially the LEDs, because they're little, uh, I guess, polymer or some kind of plastic. Um, you really want to make sure you don't melt the LEDs. But there you have it.